Hello, everyone. In this demo series today, uh, we're going to talk about how to get started with uh, the platform on the AWS Marketplace. This is a very interesting topic because of the fact that it's it provides you as a user uh, some really interesting ways to you know explore data virtualization on the AWS cloud, right? And uh, so as as part of this discussion today you know uh, i'm i'm going to focus on on how we can you know why marketplace to begin with right to me it seems like it it offers you a variety of choices to begin with so you could start with a single offering and then expand that you know into as you grow to to take advantage of the uh, you know the other offerings that you have uh, it helps you to manage the cost in terms of you know pay as you go uh, which means that you only pay for what you use. Uh, you only pay on an hourly basis. There is an annual option that you can take advantage of. But again, this is something where you know you have a lot more control uh, in, in terms of how you want to manage your costs, right? Uh, the third benefit I see is that in terms of self-service, right, which which means that you know you are not dependent on anybody to get started. You can discover, you can ex start exploring, you can start signing up for the you know, for the offering through the marketplace, and and that way, you know, you you can you can do this more independently now. There would be instances where you know you would need some help from your cloud admin or the IT, you know the cloud IT folks to help you with the cloud account or to be able to log in and start up the instance, manage some security aspects around it. But again, that's just one-time interaction for you to get everything set up, uh, up and running within like 15, 20 minutes, right? So having said that, you know, I'm I'm going to walk you through this five easy steps that you know how you can take advantage of data virtualization, uh, how you can really explore uh, in, in terms of how it fits with your modern architecture uh, design and planning, right? And and this is where it, you know, you don't have a lot of exposure to risk. You know, you, you can start the minimal, even if you have like a small budget uh, where you can quickly get started and then, then explore other broader opportunities uh, with it, right? Uh, so the first thing you would do is you'll sign up for the offering, right? And and to do that, uh, you know, you would uh, try to see, okay, for example, I say, okay, I want to explore the node on AWS Marketplace. And and that's where, I, you know, I do a Google search. I land on this page here, which tells me about, you know, what are the different options on the cloud and how Donodo works in the cloud. Along with it, you know, there is an option for a free trial that you can explore. 14-day uh, free trial, you know, uh, and also there's a test drive, which is more like a demo in itself. But again, today we're going to talk about, you know, once you've done this and you're ready to sign up, or or even kind of really you do a deep exploration uh, with your use cases, right? So here you can see there's different licensing options. There's two data sources, five. So depending on you know how many data sources you want to try and integrate, you uh, you know you can you can pick that. So I'm going to start with two data sources, and and this is where you know it takes me to the marketplace page. It's going to ask me for my logon. As you can see here, I'm already logged on to my cloud account, right? If you don't have one, you would need to get that or or you know check with your cloud IT team uh, to see if they can help you there. Once you do that, uh, on this page here, you'll look at the pricing options. So depending on where you're located, the region where you know there's AWS uh, data centers, you can pick this region that is closest to you, uh, and you can you know click on the type of instance, right? So if you hover here, you can see there's two virtual cores. Uh, you know this is one. This one here is you know up to eight virtual cores. So there's a recommended one, as you can see here. But again, for the demo purpose, I'm going to start with the smallest one here at t2.m. And here, you know, this gives you the licensing cost plus my infrastructure cost, uh, total of dollar forty-one per hour. Right? You you can't beat this price, uh, especially if you're trying to use this, you know, uh, on a uh, hourly basis. Like, say, if you use eight hours a day, uh, five days a week, you know, you pay a very a fraction of the cost that you would. Otherwise, you know, if you're looking at from a, from a different angles. So, all right. So, I continue to subscribe. 
you know, uh, what it presents you here is, okay, there's an annual option if you want to take advantage of that. If not, you continue to the configuration. I still want to do my hourly, you know, pay as you go option. Uh, here's the image that is pre-installed and already, you know, provisioned uh, available on the marketplace. So when you get this up and running, you would have uh, a Donato installation set up and ready for you to start, you know, uh, working to create your business layer, your, you know, your your data services layer using the modeling tool, etc. The version is 7.0. I pick the region, right, and I continue to launch. And as I continue to launch here, it says, okay, I launch it from the website console. That is my AWS console. And here I just want to reconfirm that my instance is t2.medium, right? It tells me how much memory, CPU, storage, etc. cetera. Uh, the VPC is the virtual, you know, uh, private cloud settings uh, for my network. So it's going to create it under its own VPC and uh, the subnet by default, right? I'm going to create a new security group just for Sorry, I'm gonna, I meant to keep the existing one. Uh, so what I was saying here is that, you know, I'm gonna keep the default and the key pair settings, this is where you want to access your instance. So I'm gonna create a new key value pair and I'm gonna just call it, uh, let me give it a name, msha underscore mkt2 create. All right, so it creates this uh, .pem file, which I'm going to need later to connect to my uh, instance through PuTTY. It's a Linux instance, so that's how I'll be needing that to connect through my PuTTY instance, okay? So once that's done, you know, I can say launch this. And so what it's going to do is it says, okay, congratulations, an instance of the software is being deployed. It will take another like five, 10 minutes to deploy this, maybe less. But again, as it goes through that process, it's going to launch uh, my instance there. Now I have my login here. So on this page here, I'm already logged into my console, EC2, you know, AWS console. And here, as you can see here, it's initializing the instance. And it's a T2 dot medium, you know, that I picked. And when I click here, it's going to take a few minutes, right? Uh, here's the public IP address. So this is the IP address that you're going to use to connect, you know, through the admin tool. Uh, so cool. let's go back to the steps, right? So in terms of steps, what you see here is you sign up for the offering. Yeah, you know, once you launch the offering, you kind of sign up for the technical support. So on the marketplace itself. Right, if you go back to this here, there's a support link. And here uh, you just have to, you know, follow the link here, sign up for the support, you know, for the latest and the greatest patches. So you can open a ticket and, and get the best of the expertise that you need from the Donato support team, right? So this is really important. Uh, you know, you want to sign up for support as soon as you have the instance launched. Uh, the third step, as we were looking at, you know, you download the the connectivity and the admin tool, right? So part of that is, you know, have my instance name. I'm going to click that and I'm going to open that in a browser. So what this gives me is a way to get access to the Donato client, right? So the first year installing Donato client, uh, I can pick, you know, 64 bit, 32 bit. Once I download the zip file, you can follow the instructions. So what you need to do is take the IP address, open up in a browser, that's where you can download the install client, right? There's a quick start guide that you could follow as well. And this has all the instructions that come along with it. So you have access to the quick start through the marketplace and it tells you all the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm talking about here, right? Right here. So we are on step three, download and install the VDP client, right? Uh, so as we are, let's go back and look at the instance, whether it's up and running, it's still initializing. So we talked about how to get the the admin client tool that you're going to connect from your laptop to the VDP server. Uh, that is this instance here that's running, right? Quick check on security aspect. So I go back here. I had default security. I look at my inbound rules. Right, I just want to make sure that I can connect to it through my client. So I just want to make sure the ports are open. Uh, there are a couple of instructions around security as to what ports you need to open, 
right? So there's a link here that will tell you what ports you need to open. There is also from a security standpoint, there is, you know, it talks about how you can remove the access for HTTP port as well as some of the services, you know, that might not be needed. So you could do those as a, as an post installation, you know, optional steps. Now, uh, once the security is done, I've taken care of this. My instance is almost ready, right? I've installed my VDP client tool. So once you install the VDP client tool, you will have an icon on your desktop like this. I, I click on that and it will open up my the admin client tool, right? So what you're looking at here is my Donato Platform Control Center. Once I go there, it shows this is my admin tool here and I want to launch that, right? So once I launch it, what you're gonna need is, you know, take this IP address. So let's see, let's refresh this again and see if it is ready. Okay, so it's instantizing, but in the meantime, what I can show you is I have another mark instance that I had started for this, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna connect to this particular one that's already launched. Uh, so once the VDP admin tool is ready, uh, you would log in using admin and the password is the password of your instance ID. So this is the password that you would use the first time to log in, right? In this case here, I have the older instance running, so I'm gonna take this just to make sure that I'm using the right instance to connect. Okay, so through my admin tool, I connect using username, password, and this is the IP address. If you look here, it's ending in 2.214.45, and that's the instance that I'm talking about here, 214.45 that I had already started, right? Okay. So once you get through this, you connect through the admin tool and voila, you're in. And this is where you can start creating your virtual database, your, you know, connect, defining your connection to your uh, other tools, your data sources and such. All right, so as you have seen here, you know, we went through all the steps to deploy a marketplace instance, right? Uh, it took us approximately 10 minutes or so, and we have everything configured and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna show you a separate instance where I have my, you know, the admin tool to connect to my VDP server, that's the Donato server, and show you, or give you a quick glimpse of how, uh, you know, how the data sources can be connected combined and consumed by the application. So that way you have a bigger picture of how things are uh, working, right? So uh, let me open up my test instance. So I have an RDP session here that I'm gonna connect to. Okay. So what you're looking at here is the Donato administration tool, the VDP admin tool. Uh, once you have the instance up and running, uh, you have installed the VDP admin tool on your laptops or your desktops, and now you're connecting to the Donato instance, right? Uh, and what you can see here is, you know, as you start building up a virtual database, uh, for example, I have the sample one here. Uh, it, it has the connectivity layer, so I can define my data sources that I need to connect to. In this case, I have AWS Redshift, Impala, uh, the RDS Aurora, S3 files, and all that, right? So uh, once you can define those connections, you, you build your logical data model, right? And, and then you can easily segregate that across, you know, different layers uh, through the modeling tool here in Donato. So you can build your integration layer, your business entity layer, reporting layer, right? And then you can uh, get started, you know, combining all that data across your data sources. So that's it. I just wanted to quickly show you how that, uh, you know, uh, you can get started from that point onwards. Just to wrap up quickly, uh, you know, you can start connecting and start using your analytics. I would also recommend you to take up a test drive. So if you take up a Donato test drive, that's gonna give you a lot more information than if you have not seen that before already. So, all right, uh, wishing you all the best. And, uh, you know, if you have any further questions, you can email us at cloud.solutions at and we'll be happy, we're glad to help you out there.
Right. Thank you very much. And thanks for listening.